One of LA's most troubled places is now under a new attack. Skid Row, home to one of the largest regular populations of homeless people anywhere, is now growing with gang members. Tonight, the NBC4i team gets exclusive access to the work of police officers trying to stop all of this. Here's investigative reporter Lolita Lopez. Police say this man is a member of the Bloods gang. A Ziploc bag of prescription drugs, none in his name, found on him. Rival gang members are working together to sell drugs. It's one of several police encounters NBC4 cameras captured. That's heroin. Riding with LAPD officers on Skid Row. He actually stabbed a man in the head with an ice pick. Officer Dion Joseph has worked these streets for 19 years. This is the worst I've ever seen. There are hundreds and hundreds of gang members and their associates hiding amongst the homeless. The LAPD says this video shows known gang members brutally beating a man. These are pictures they say of guns, ammunition, and other weapons taken off the streets. I didn't know what gangs was, so I came downtown. Charlene lives on Skid Row. It's hard. It's really hard out here. What kind of stuff happened? They're raped, abused. They're, they're taken into tents. The tents are more like makeshift homes with tables and beds inside. It's tied up to the building. Police say this environment. We can't see it. We can't stop it. Makes it harder to fight crime. They have the ability of hiding in plain sight. These so-called tent cities in Skid Row spread out across several blocks and lie in the shadows of a growing downtown skyline. Police say gang members prey on those who come here looking for services and help. I'm going to show you a tent where a guy sells beers to uh, people going into Alcoholics Anonymous programs. Officers tell us a recent lawsuit limits their ability to take the tents down. For some advocates, removing them is not an option. That cannot be a solution because the Constitution forbids that. Pete White of Los Angeles Community Action Network. There's a very clear and simple solution. That's housing. More housing and treatment centers among the plans for new taxpayer dollars to help with LA's growing homeless population. You have to have a place to go in order for the tents to go away. Skid Row has a concentration of groups like Union Rescue Mission that offer assistance, but elsewhere, it's a different story. We then have to create opportunities so that we can have transitional housing or more vouchers and assistance on the ground in those places. So not everyone has to to be sent down here. I'm getting so many crime reports with sticks, bats, shovels. Meanwhile, police say violence on Skid Row keeps getting worse. The homeless. Customer base, punching bags. Officer Joseph says the people he sees every day. How you doing, sweetie? Should not become the next victims. In Skid Row, Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News.